workflow video analysis of the match. I'm going to analyze the player in the blue room right now. There's a couple things in that rally, even though he won that rally. Um, he wasn't in a, he didn't put himself in a good position after the previous shot. So let's take another look at that. So when the opponent's hitting, let's go, let's rewind back. Um, <laughs> you gotta slowly watch three bounces here. Okay, so far that doesn't look too bad. Pretty good lob serve. I'm backpedaling to position, and I'm still backpedaling after he's taken the shot, and even after the ball's already hit the front wall. So that's the one I look at right here. So Jesse, I have your box. So right about here, I should not be moving anymore. At this point, my feet should be in a, in a jump stop. I should be in a ready position with the racket out in front of me. Um, it looks like I'm still traveling backwards, so it's a little bit lazy here. So, thank you guys. And now, now I'm in that jump stop. So I should have hit that jump stop when he was swinging for the ball. So my jump stops late, which is making this, which should be a casual, easy shot, because he clearly missed. I think he was trying to go cross court here. It came up real close to me, right in my wheelhouse. Should be an easy, balanced shot, and I could take it down the line from this point. But because of that late jump stop, I'm gonna be off balance here. So let's take a look. So I didn't have time to set my feet. I'm standing, I didn't get my racket up, so I took a half swing, the ball's way up in the air. Okay, let's see if I can do better this time. So, what I'm finding is a consistent problem is that I'm still moving when the pump same ball, so I have to adjust and I'm going to be off balance after he's hit the ball, I have to adjust and, and change direction. So let's see if I do it again in this rally. So here I'm moving forward, which is not as bad. My feet are somewhat balanced. I'm in center court. A couple extra steps to adjust, but my racket was up. A little bit better, but that could still be a, a lot smoother with less steps, and I could definitely be prepped a little bit earlier. But anyway, that rally ends up working out. Right, here's a lob serve. So, lob serve. I look pretty nice and balanced. You want to hit the lob serve with more body, less arm. Doesn't seem too bad. But what I could do better is see how I'm taking that step with the left foot there. That's putting me completely facing the opposite way of my opponent. I want to be stepping back first with the right leg, and instead of going into a back pedal, go into a shuffle, where I'm keeping my, one, my eye on the ball, facing the ball, and my body face toward the ball. So I don't want my back to the ball, I want my body toward the ball as I back up, and also just don't have that back pedaling motion, but I want to shuffle out of the box in one step, and then end up right behind the line paused, ready for him to hit the ball. Okay, so what happened there? Let's see. Yeah, 
Okay, so he's hitting the ball right about here. It looks like it. consistent with my issue earlier, I'm still backpedaling as he's hitting the ball, so I'm going to have to change directions once the ball's already in motion. So I should be stopped. See, I'm in the air when he hits the ball, which is going to put me at a disadvantage trying to be balanced into the next shot. And I'm doing that, that jump stop way too late. That should be happening. This, this foot position should be happening as he's contacting the ball. And at this point, it's already off the front wall. So it's making me a little late in this whole motion. So I, I haven't seen the rest of this rally, but I can imagine I'm going to have a lot of trouble setting up and getting my racket up in time to really hit this ball down the line, which is where I should shoot it considering his, his body position here. It, it, he does hit a good wide angle pass, so it would have been tough anyway for me to get over there and make an offensive shot out of that. So that sort of works out. I, um, I'm not the owner, I'm just the manager. Um, so, no, she works I should slow down a little bit here. Sorry. So at this point, I'm kind of out of position. I'm struggling to get back in the position as, he, as he's hitting the ball. I should just give up on trying to fight for position at this point and get into a balanced, ready position wherever I am on the court. Um, here, I'm definitely off balance and moving as he hits the ball, so I'm going to have to change directions once I figure out which shot he's taking. And I do just that. So I'm, I, I do the jump stop here, which is too late again, and now I have to change directions. And I'm hitting the ball right back to myself and him. Let's see. He's able to tap it in. Let's jump ahead. Okay, now one serving. So on the serve return, what I'm really focused on right now is my footwork from that ready position to move laterally left and right. So there's a couple ways you can do this. One, you, you sh most most people would recommend you keep your feet sort of short shoulder width apart, and then you make an initial step with your right foot, and then you cross over with your left. Another way that some players can do this is to just sort of just shuffle and keep an open face stance so you keep your, your front facing towards the ball. So it looks like I'm doing that here. Um, but this, this ball ends up being a, a good shot or short, but anyway, I give up on the ball. Let's see if there's another one. All right, let's take a look at this lot. I run over to cut it off, try to go cross court. Uh, that one ends up working out. I get enough of an angle to get by him. He sort of gives up on it, doesn't go chasing after it. Back in the service box. I'm kind of cutting under that lob and slicing it a little bit. Seems to be working out okay. One thing, one issue that I see here, I am looking at the ball. That's good. My body's generally facing him, but the problem is what I think is going to happen here is I'm going to end up backpedaling that right foot 
and putting me out of position. So let's see, what I should do it from this point is continue shuffling. So keep that left foot back behind and facing toward one. But I have a feeling I'm gonna step back and back pedal on the right foot. And that's exactly what I do. So, so now he's about to hit, I'm in a pretty off balance disadvantage position. And I end up coming back way too far, so I actually even take another back pedal step back. So I don't want to come back farther than the encroachment line. I want to stop this whole thing at about the encroachment line and get into a ready position, do maybe a jump stop right as he's hitting the ball. So this is something that I've been working on a lot, and I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing a, a pattern of me making this mistake during this match. So I'm racing just to get back at this point, just to get back to where I should have stopped after the serve. I ended up getting a racket on it, but I'm not balanced and uh, maybe I, I'm not sure if that's good. Looks like it's good. <laughs> it ends up working out, but if I can go back, if I could do that again, it should be more of a routine shot and less of a stretch because I had walked back, back pedal a little bit too far. I had to move and be on the run during that shot. It ends up working out, but it should be a more balanced shot. All right, let's review one more. Let me try that backhand lob again. I don't see any big issues with the lob itself. It's more of the getting ready after the shot. So here I take a step facing him. That's the miss. That's the mistake step. See how that right foot is it looks like I'm, I might even fall down when you pause it here. So up to that point, it's not too bad, but I'm making that mistake back pedal step with the right foot. If I could just shuffle in with the left and have a similar body position, I'll have a lot more balance with my left foot out to the left and my right foot out to the right. And again, um, I didn't really go too far back that time. Ends up skipping. Let's just jump along. Let's check out a different part of this match. Let's see, I'm hitting a drive surf here. I'll talk a little bit about what I want to do with my drive surf. So far, so good. I look like I'm in a pretty good, balanced, comfortable position. My hands are together. Let's see if I can stay in that comfortable position. What I'm looking for with my drive serve right now is popping up out of that position. I look comfortable. I mean, that, that could be a pro game ready to serve. It's hard to tell at this point. It's, once I go into the motion, that's when you can, you can start to see issues. Alright, I'm seeing a little bit of that pop up with the torso. See, my body's not in that same low position that I was in when I started, which one makes that whole starting position kind of irrelevant. I mean, I might as well start standing up if I'm going to do that. But I'd prefer to start low and finish low, so not do that pop up. Right here, I'm trying to get the ball, drop the ball out to where my arm has to be fully extended at the contact point. I want the contact point to be closer to the floor off of my front foot. My left foot is a little bit farther than I want it to be out in front of my right. So I want it to almost be 
at the point of my toe. It can be a little bit for for my for my back foot, especially since yeah I have to avoid foot faulting. So I don't want to step directly forward and then over the line. So I want to come in at a little bit of an angle. Hips started out okay. Could definitely have more hip motion. I want to keep my body on its axis and upright with my arm fully extending outward. I don't want my weight to go forward and into the front wall. That's losing a lot of that momentum. Which is not too bad. I didn't clean that ball way off. But as far as the weight goes, it wasn't too bad. Just didn't make good contact with the ball. Let's, let's see if I can do better next time. Just find another drive serve. There's another drive serve. Okay, let's try again. First step looks good. Second step. That, one's, that one looks a little bit better. Ends up being short. At this point, I'm low. Let's see if I pop up again. Here, and there's the pop up. It's pretty slight. You can see I'm not in that same low position that I was in when I started. My arm looks okay. I'm 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 pretty okay with that. My arm, my elbows up. My arm is smaller than a 45 degree angle. It's bent pretty well. Let's see if I'm leading with my elbow. Yeah, I'm pretty much lead with my elbow. Could do better. In this position, I still have a little bit of weight on my back foot. I want to keep a lot of that weight on my back foot, but what you find is a lot of the pros on the drive serve, you find that back foot coming off the ground. So I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's exactly something that I should be focused on. But it's definitely true in a regular shot that you want to keep both feet on the ground. You don't want to have your back foot coming forward. But this one looks like it's still contacting the floor. I'm somewhat okay with that. I'd rather still be on the ball of my foot. It looks like my foot's totally turned over. Um, could be better. Not too bad right now. That. Yeah. I didn't bother to go back into position because I saw the serve short. But the next thing I want to be looking at, similar to the lob serves, is am I going back, shuffling into position, getting comfortable at the encroachment line when he's getting ready to take the shot for the serve return. All right. Um, let's see this one lob. So I can go into the right. Again, backpedaling. Want to fix that. As he hits the ball, I'm standing upright, but I'm still moving backwards. It ends up working out because he hits the ball behind me. Okay, here's another big area that I'm working on right now. So see, that left foot should be back directly behind my right foot. So I have this tendency to cross over big time, which can limit my shot options at this point, because my body's facing so far towards the left wall. Um, it's really positioned to drive the ball into the left wall right now. But I want to be in a position where I can ideally drive the ball down the line comfortably and use my hips, and also have that cross court option to take it to the right wall. So let's see what I end up doing with this. Ball pops out. I end up in a better foot position than when I started, but that probably wasn't intentional. I end up contacting the ball. I just misread the ball at that point and it ended up popping out and coming closer to my body than I wanted it to be. 
I just take it around. I should probably be up sooner than that. Looks like I gave up a little bit on that rally. Once I hit, after I hit that bad, pretty bad shot. So here I'm all the way back on the glass. I should be fighting to get closer to the center board at this point. And this is the point where I should stop moving. Where he's about to contact the ball. In this case, since I'm so far back, it makes sense to be moving at the point of contact. But in most cases, I want to just be ready and balanced. And if he hits the ball away from me, I'll just accept that. But I want to be ready and balanced for the shots that he does miss. He ends up skipping this one. Okay, so those are some good. So the major takeaways here after we're doing that rally, one, I'm finding that my court positioning is a little late. I'm getting into position and doing the jump stop way after I should be. I should be doing all of this before my opponent hits the ball. That way I'm comfortable and I can respond to where he's hitting the ball and I can move left to right from a balanced position, keep my racket up. So that's the biggest thing, my biggest takeaway from this video analysis. Probably the second thing is coming out of the service box. I tend to be backpedaling into position. I sometimes come back a little bit too far, so I should just backpedal. I should just shuffle into the encroachment line, pause, wait there, be facing the opponent, watching the opponent, looking for what shot he's gonna hit. So that's everything I really have from, from this match. Um, bunch of stuff I can work on. I could look at every play and analyze it for <laughs> five minutes. But um, those are some good things for me to start out with right now. So hopefully we'll see some improvement in that and I'll get a video with the improvements coming up shortly.